All right, so this is another video review. Looking through your mail, uh, you're asking if things are looking better. Yes, I totally agree. I do think they look a lot better. I think I really like what you did with the hands, uh, keep alive wise, and I really like what you did with um, the elbow. But what we're going to do here is a bit more polish work. And it's what's really helpful is when you scrub through um, certain sections. I'm looking at his arm. So look at this section here. If I scrub, especially through here, see all the body movement and the head movement, but there's nothing going on in the in the forearm and the, and the hand. So watch out for sections like that. What I would do, the main thing I would do for your next pass is make sure that, that things don't feel too isolated. So if I scr scrub through here, see how his arms move a lot but there's not you do have this involved but there's not that much going on in here it looks like mickey mouse here and when the moment you have the chest involved you can have a little bit of the hips and depending on the move so if he is going you know he's going for instance back here that section also feels a bit isolated where you're just going from here to here so during this i would involve the hips more and because of that you can have this a bit earlier i like how you have the knees go out but that idea you can put into something like here so if he goes into this pose where he feels a bit more like he's open here right with his arms but then getting into this he's probably a bit more tense right you can also give him the look so to reinforce that attitude what you can do is with all this movement uh in the upper body have a bit more in the hips just for adjustment but you can bring in the knees a tiny bit so they're a bit more squeezed together it makes it gives a contrast and keep alive but also reinforces the attitude of him being a bit more tense and then i like what you have here which is great but now when you do this you do have the root moving but then you can bring out the legs just a tiny bit just bring them out this way just a tiny bit for more keep alive same thing here you can maybe ex um go out like he bring he opens up his hands it's a bit more an open pose an open feeling so you can bring out the knees a tiny bit more and then you go back here you can bring up the knees again in the in and out he's not exactly confrontational as he goes back here definitely move uh the legs and the knees because it feels a bit like this is one big piece that is not moving independently not that you want it independently as in like this but when everything moves, it feels like this is one piece of geometry. That's what I mean. So if you can break that up by moving the knees just a tiny bit more. Um, during this, that feels like a fairly big shift in weight going from here to here. It's not exactly this yet. And I like that during this move, you have the hips moving. And you can probably have more knee movement as well. But during this part definitely involve the hips more and because of that the legs again so whenever the hips are moving you gotta move the legs I do like that you have the weight on the shoulder I think that works really well uh, and you were asking about the keep alive at the end what you can do is he is doing a an exhale so you can have a little inhale in here nothing crazy but what you can do is just to add more than movement up here you, if you have him inhale you can close the mouth here so it's not such a static pose it'll give you some contrast because it's just a kind of a silent inhale you will have uh this part of the chest go back a tiny bit you can bring up the shoulders a tiny bit because of that this can come out a tiny bit this can rotate this way a tiny bit the fingers can come in a tiny bit because you lift the shoulder this can come in a tiny bit and then because of that movement you will adjust the knees a tiny bit so there's still a lot of little things you can add just at the very end for the inhale. And like if you that. didn't teach, you'd be steady income. Bring down the volume. I think that, will, to me, it feels like a step you definitely have to do. Just one more thing here. And since I'm on the picky train, careful uh, here. You have rotation in your in your um, chest. And you go one way, and it feels like when you go here, you kind of go back the same direction that you came from. It feels a and I think you can ease into that a bit more. It feels a bit harsh that 
that stop and I'm kind of looking at this area here see if you track just that neck area it feels like it just stops a bit harshly and it's going to help also when you go forward to bring out that arm and, and put the wrist back a bit just so it feels less separate Those women were when he goes here that start here you could ease in a bit more or ease out of it just for contrast it feels like you curve even though you you might flatten out it feels like you're doing a lot of this as opposed to flat and then maybe do something like this just to give you uh just variation in timing in those um curve changes just right now that move beep, feels a bit too even those women were into us because and then as i said here you know if he if he brings that up and he moves the weight off that elbow probably the chest is going to come down you know what I mean you prop your weight on this but you take that support away your chest is going to come down just during this section which I talked about before just being that really feels isolated and if the chest goes down then at that point you can bring out the knees a bit just to give you know if you open this up the chest will have more room to go down that's the idea behind it I think that stop here you do have a little pixel move here but it's still the main stop feels like it's going from here to here and then nothing and it feels like a fairly comfy chair and the thing is it's a lot of work but what would really help is when you do moves like here like adjustments through that that you have something moving in the chair like the chair could rotate a tiny bit uh, this section could just tilt over a tiny bit because you're putting all the weight on this side right and then now as you move it's more balanced so the chair should have that change during these sections you know whenever he goes forward you could have a slight rotation this way and then a slight rotation that way and then during these moments you know when you have that moving the root is great for the body but then because the chair is not moving it feels very static and especially at the end here when he gets on there would be great to have you know that part of the of the chair if you outline this it will kind of tilt this way so that this arm will be maybe that low and then this guy gets up that you know you want to feel the interaction between the body and the chair so i'm not sure if you're saving this until the very end um let me know what your plan is on that it's not like this is very sturdy so it'll be a cool moment as he as he pushes down right he brings up his butt which means pressure down on here which means that this this part of the chair should come down a bit and then as you release that part of the chair can come up and then into that since the arm is off so if you really need and then you might have i don't know if you have controllers in these guys um, otherwise if you have a main pivot off here to rotate the whole thing left and right which can just go you know, maybe you can have it parented to the root somehow where it inherits the movement of the guy and then you can take the constraint off and then adjust the animation a tiny bit. I don't know if that makes any sense, but from from an animation point, it would be really cool if you could marry the chair to the guy's movements. All right, let me know if that is confusing or if you have any questions about what to do with the chair. Um, let me know, but that is it. Nice work. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.